What up, peeps? It's Mama from Joe Mama here, and today we're back with Minecraft Story Mode Season 2, Episode 4, Part 3. Yes, I kind of got, you know, I couldn't remember which one we were on. <laughs> Let's get back to the. I almost said movie. Yep. Just cringe. Just cringe. Blue really is Fred's favorite color. Even the bed's blue. Shall we joke about it? Yes. No one will mind if I just. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's look at his. The foundation. Let's read it. Pages are gone, and the rest, there are a lot of notes. Okay. Let's open his closet. Nothing in here now, except that button. Push the button. Room. There's got to be something down here. Mm, let's look at the book. This one is called The Survivor's Book of Secrets. Okay, secrets are good. Now we can read it. This book contains the collective knowledge of the survivors. We're an underground group of survival experts who have been around since the early days. And it goes on. Signed by the chief. The chief, huh? Three towns. There's the oasis there and the keep. Third is... Romeoburg. Seriously? Mm -hmm. What kind of name is Romeoburg? That was Romeo's. I know I had my doubts, but it was worth leaving home. Glad I had Zara and Romeo with me. Hmm. That this is Fred's journal. I don't know what Romeo wants anymore. It hurts. All I wanted was the three of us together. Maybe we should have never left the cabin. We weren't just happy there. We were home. Wait, home? And he wasn't talking about here. There wasn't a cabin on the map, though. Hmm. Nothing else in here. Maybe the others found something. Binta! Jesse, I... There's something I need to ask you about. Um... How did you know the answer to that last question? Birch? It's not common knowledge, and it was shared with me in great confidence before... I knew because Zara told me. She knew Fred better than anyone. Zara? As in Fred's Zara. The Zara. The one and only. She hasn't been seen down here in a very, very long time. You're more impressive than you seem. Maybe they're right after all. Maybe you are from above the bedrock. Rumors have been going around since your arrival. Your friend Jack <coughs> spoke of all these lands we've never heard of. Yeah, about that. Well, did you at least find what you were looking for? This weapon? I think it's in the cabin. I don't know why Fred would have one, but I must admit I'm curious. 
Not the weapon exactly, but some promising clues. Romeo, Zara, and Fred had a cabin that they called home. We need to find it. Romeo? Did they say Romeo? The admin? Yes, the admin. Right now he's in our town, pretending to be me. We need to stop him. Problem is, we don't know where the cabin is. I want to help you, but there's something I need from you in return. If you're really from up there, then you must have a way back. Take us with you, above the bedrock. Above? Vita, what are you saying? We don't know what's out there. It has to be better than this. We're safe here. And if Romeo... You welcome us in. Of course we'll help you. Thank you. Sounds like you may have to do some convincing. They'll come around. The mycelium on this island has kept the monsters from spawning, and we've been safe here so far. But it won't last. Our only chance for a real future is up there. Zara's repairing the portal that will take us up. If you want to go through, meet us at the Oasis. Fred left this to me before he... <laughs> the needle points home. When he didn't come back, I tried to follow it, but got stopped at the gates to Romeoburg. They've got a massive army, so be careful. Please, take good care of it. You've shown I can trust you to respect Fred's memory. You didn't have to do this. Thank you, really. You're very welcome. I'll prepare my people. You take these. Hmm. Signal us when you're ready, and we'll be there. Okay. Great, you're here. We've got a new destination, so... You go on ahead. I, um... I'm gonna stay here. See what I can do to help. What? No, Jack, we have to stick together. Not this time. We're the best chance they've got to get out. Us and that portal Zara's fixing. I can do some good here. Help Binta convince them. Jack, what are you talking about? You're a good guy, Jack. Helping these people is the right thing to do. Thank you, Jesse. I hoped you'd see it that way. Huh? Oh. Friends don't leave friends behind. It won't be for long. Once you get the weapon, we'll get out of here. Just like we planned. You're not even gonna let us try to change your mind, are you? No. Petra, I... Whatever. We'll see you at the Oasis. When you set off that firework Binta gave you, I'll come running, and hopefully I'll have a few new friends with me. I believe that's the decision Joey wanted to go the other way. And that's the one part that I did allow him to tell me about. And Joey said, but Joey said radar. It wasn't radar for us. It was Jack. I guess it was easier to leave Jack behind than what it would have been to leave Radar behind. But Jack's got Norm too, so. Here we go. Man, I can't believe Jack actually wanted to stay back with those weirdos in Fred's Keep. Can you? <sighs> Whatever. I don't even care. What? Do you really expect me to believe that? Let it go, Ray. Come on, we should talk about it if it's bothering you. I said let it go. Hey, I'm disappointed that Jack stayed too. It's a total bummer. I... Sorry that you're bummed. It's hard. Aw, oh, there we go. Sharing feelings. How does that feel? Push it, Radar. <laughs> radar, I'd so, shut up before uh, she slaps you. What's the compass say? We still heading the right way? Hang on, let me check. Seems like we're still on... Cracks out, everybody brace yourselves! Okay. Uh, uh. Uh, rough ride! Man, the track is a complete wreck. Yeah! What's up with you? Uh. That's who we saw in uh, part one. 
What a nice the? diamond sword. Oh no. Uh oh. Down, 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 down. It's a good thing I didn't miss that. Opportunity 
to discover the truth. Luckily, it worked out because I would have felt terrible about killing you. Classic thing to say to your friends. I can tell you're being sarcastic, but you'd be surprised. Wait, 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 wait. If you weren't convinced, you would have killed me? The admins turned everything upside down, Jesse. It's very confusing up there. Speaking of whom, I can't spend much more time down here. If I don't get back to the prison soon and report in, the admin will know that something isn't right. That's perfect. You can make up a lie and you'll never suspect that I'm actually down Which here. will buy you the time you need to find Fred's weapon. Hold on! How'd you know about I'm that? I'm a ninja. Anyway, that plan is all well and good. But hmm. what exactly should I tell the admin? It needs to be plausible, but dramatic. Yeah, believable, but entertaining. Realistic, but shocking. Tell him I died trying to flee the Sunshine Institute. Fluff up his ego. Let him think that he built an inescapable prison. Oh, yes. A fed ego is a happy ego after all. I'm sorry I can't stay longer, but I must go. Go. We'll see you when we get back to the surface. No, oh, wait. Can I borrow that amulet? Certainly, but why? Long story involving a portal and a magic frame, but it'll help us get home. Please hurry. It's getting dire up there. Shrope ball! <coughs> ah! You saw nothing. <laughs> we all just saw that, right? I, I didn't like hallucinate Ninja Ivor. No. -uh. Just when I thought that crusty dude couldn't get any weirder. <laughs> and we're ready to roll. Come on, guys. And we're ready to roll. Whoa, yeah. Any 
anyone who escaped that place, mad props. Open the gate! On it! No, Soup, the, the gate, yeah, the, the real gate. Right, on it! challenge room, especially unarmed. But we'll trade you some gear if you can build something to scare off future unwanted visitors. You know, like a snowman or a huge flower. Just make something that will help us strike fear into the hearts of all who would see it. Keep people off our backs. Something to give us a little me time. Hmm. Let's see. That's not gonna be enough, maybe. We'll see, we gotta be building the locks too. Keep hitting the wrong button. <laughs> oh wow, that will give me nightmares. <laughs> well done. Me too, yes. as the ugliest Wonderful. build Horrifying. I've ever done. As the ugliest build. It looks like a bunny now that I'm organized, look at it. not alphabetized, not even sorted by material. This is barbaric. This is what we managed to salvage from the goofballs. Uh, I mean, residents who tried entering. Alright. That was one day when I was like, Soup, how many straps can you put on that armor? 
Turns out a lot is the answer. I'm um, number seven. Because it's the seventh. What do you want? Everybody's got off days, you know? Uh, feeling cute. You know, like one trillion out of ten. Yeah! Dented danger. Dangerous! But also damaged, so it's more relatable. Mm. Armor of such fine quality, you just want to crouch in you. Please don't hit me. Well, I definitely don't want that one. No. Don't try to eat armor. Best advice I've ever heard. And that's where we're going to end part four. Thanks for watching, peeps. If you liked what you just saw, let us know by clicking that like button or leaving us a comment down below. And if you're at all new to the channel and you're liking what you're seeing and you're considering subscribing, if you subscribe, let us know down in the comments. We'll go to your page. We'll subscribe back. We'll give you a shout out in a future Minecraft video. And after you subscribe, a little bell icon will pop up. If you click that little bell, you'll know when we post a video and when we do a live stream. Thanks for watching, peeps. We will catch you in the next video. Bye.